The new Director General of the BBC has told staff his top priority will be reaffirming the BBC's commitment to impartiality and warned partisan voices should not work for the public broadcaster. Tim Davey gave a speech to staff on his first day as the head of the BBC, in which he laid out his plans for the future. Davey warned against political social media usage from employees, saying, If you want to be an opinionated columnist or a partisan campaigner on social media, then that is a valid choice, but you should not be working for the BBC. The new Director General also admitted the organisation had been far too slow to reinvent itself as it attempts to compete against the likes of Amazon and Netflix. Davies' comments follow several high-profile rows involving BBC journalists who have been accused of failing to be impartial. Newsnight host Emily Maitlis was slapped down by the BBC for using a monologue to criticise Dominic Cummings. One day after Tim Davey took up his new job, the corporation decided to reverse a decision not to sing Rule Britannia and other patriotic songs at the last night of the proms. According to newspaper reports, some at the BBC were concerned about colonial links to the songs, which may have offended some listeners. However, a public outcry of support for the songs ensued, with Prime Minister Boris Johnson weighing in against the BBC. If it is correct, which I cannot believe that it really is, but if it is correct that the BBC is saying that they will not sing the words of Land of Hope and Glory and Rule Britannia, as they, as, as they traditionally do at the end of uh, last night of, of the Ponds, I think it's time we stopped our cringing embarrassment about our history, about our traditions and about our culture, and we stop this general bout of self-recrimination and wetness. Several Conservative MPs have supported the idea the BBC should switch to a subscription-based model to replace the licence fee, similar to Netflix or Amazon. Davey said that he was committed to keeping the TV tax and said that the BBC had an important role in keeping the public informed.